Welcome to ADP Training, YouTube's automotive technology channel. In this channel, you'll learn all kinds of auto repair secrets, how your automobile works, and how to diagnose it. Hello everybody and welcome to another video. In today's video, we are going to analyze uh, a BMW VGT, that's a transfer case, uh, codes 54C4 and 5463. Uh, now, these are very, very common codes. Now, BMW uh, X3, X3 uh, which is the E83 model, come equipped with an uh, ATC 400 transfer case. The, these are identifiable by uh, the four bolt uh, dry shaft flange um, on the front of the uh, transfer case. Uh, anyhow, and, and then there's also the BMW with the X5, that's model E53. Uh, these come with the ATC 500 uh, transfer case, identifiable by splines in the front of the transfer case. As if, you, if you're working on these and you're trying to order parts and you don't know how to identify, uh, this, this is how it is. The ATC 500 o um, also utilizes a bigger clutch pack uh, than the 400. Uh, and uh, basically, the one, the, 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 the X5, it, it's a, it's a, actually troublesome because it has the, the splines in there and these splines are a source of, of problems. Now another thing about these uh, transfer cases uh, is the coating resistors. Manufacturing tolerances um, actually vary, uh, it, it leads to varying curves when it comes to the multi-disc clutch uh, because of, you know, when they make it. Now because of this, the actual uh, locking torque um, is measured uh, by is bench tested actually uh, at the factory and then so they actually put a uh, a resistor uh, on the um, on the transfer case itself uh, and the way it works is they eat the uh, uh, transfer case module reads that resistor and it loads from internal memory it loads the actual program uh, for the transfer case so be mindful of this uh, 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 it's a it's a programming resistor <laughs> that's pretty much a you know a, a, you know there's nothing else to tell about that. So just be, man be mindful that it has to be there. Now we start the uh, diagnostics by, of course, you know, scanning uh, the, uh, we scan the, um, the transmission and we also scan the transfer case computer uh, because all the codes were reflected on the transmission uh, um, control module. And so we go into the transfer case computer and, uh, and we saw the, um, uh, these codes. Uh, now this is, uh, basically what we saw and it's uh, codes uh, uh, you know we saw a code 55c4 which has to do with the uh, the messaging the messaging you know with the transmission control module but that's not really what we're after you know the 54c4 and the 5463 are the codes are that we, we are interested in now, before we continue on to the rest of the diagnostics, we are um, on, on screen. You can see the actual. Uh, the, uh, this is an animation that we did uh, for the. Uh, uh, they also call it the direct drive, you know, unit. But this is really part of the transfer case. This is what engages the uh, uh, the clutches, the clutch pack on the transfer case. And if you look at it very carefully uh, on the in this particular image here on the right hand side. Uh, in green uh, are the clutches and this is what this mechanism actually does uh, look at it very carefully and you can see that uh, basically that uh, the motor as it is actuated it actually engages or disengages the clutches this happens very 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 fast so be mindful that uh, what you're seeing on on uh, right now on screen it happens very fast sometimes within a couple of uh, fractions of a second so that's how fast th this system is and it works pretty well for the mo most time this uh later on i'm going to show you what actually goes wrong with this unit now on screen is the transfer case what it looks like more or less um from the uh for the photograph that we actually took on the from this car that we we're working on it and basically uh attached it to the transfer case is that motor that you just saw before um which is the one that engages the clutches. This particular motor, the motor itself is not a problem. What is a problem is the gear, the plastic gear inside. And any of you that has ever worked on these cars, you know what I'm talking about. 
Uh, so these gears are pretty much, they wear out, you know, just by themselves. Uh, and they are made of plastic. Go figure, you know. Um, then maybe there's a reason for it. Uh, you can buy the gear and you can replace the gear. Uh, be mindful of that resistor that, um, that I mentioned before. Don't, don't mess around with that because once you lose that, then you don't even know what kind of a resistor you have in there. And then, uh, then the computer won't, won't know which uh, uh, software to engage and you're going to get a code and never, it's never, it's never going to work. Now, common codes associated with this unit, and we're going to put them up on screen, are the uh, 5466 also. Uh, you're also going to get, and we did get, get that code here on another module, worn out uh, transfer case oil. Okay, and they going to throw you uh, a 5F3A or a 5463, which is the one that we have. You have to replace the oil. It has a sensor in there that actually sensors the oil, and you have to replace the oil. That's it. So, um, and that will take care of that particular problem. Uh, there's also codes 5462, the servo, servo motor coupling force too high. Uh, these are typical codes for that, you know, for this particular unit. Uh, and there is also uh, the malfunction uh, transfer case, which is the 539E. Uh, uh, all these codes are associated with this particular uh, unit. Now, as it turned out, in this particular um, vehicle, the, it was the, um, the, the, the uh, gear, the plastic gear, as you can see on screen. Uh, we replaced the gear. Uh, it was worn out. We don't have a picture of the worn out gear, but it was pretty worn out. Uh, and that's it that took care of the problem this uh I, I don't know if this is a picture of the worn out gear but that's exactly what it was you know we replaced that gear um put it together um the actual unit came off the actual transfer case unit came off when it when the shop called me called me in they actually took it off and they started taking it apart and this and that so i said you know don't do that bef you know before um, we just t take a look at the motor and all that uh, which is fairly co fairly common for BMWs, you know, this motor, this gear to go bad. They didn't know, so, you know, they were just doing their best, you know. So anyhow, so um, we replaced the gear, um, uh, put the thing back in there, uh, we erased the codes, and that, that was pretty much it. You know, we uh, nothing else needed to be done. So we'd like to thank you for tuning in to our channel, ADP Training, uh, and our website, autodiagnosticsandpublishing.com. Uh, we... Uh, uh, advice that you guys uh, subscribe to our website so that you can get the free stuff you know that we all always put out every month uh, and also subscribe to our channel uh, our channel ATP training here on YouTube it's a free channel and if you want to subscribe at the end of this video you're going to see a link not it's not a link it's an AQ, AQR code that you can actually go in with your uh, uh, PayPal app and pretty much donate whatever you think uh, that you want to donate. Anyhow, and post, uh, give, us, give, us a, give us a thumbs up, subscribe, uh, thumbs down if you, if you didn't like it, whatever you want. And please comment as much as you can. So anyhow, thank you for tuning in to our channel and thank you for watching. This channel is for do-it-yourselfers, as well as professional auto repair technicians. We present all the content using the latest CG animation techniques, on hands video, and how to, tips and techniques. We encourage you to subscribe to this channel now. Once subscribed, anytime we upload a new automotive tip, secret, or technology video, you will be notified. Finally, by subscribing, you will also be part of our weekly freebies. Yes, we're constantly giving away lots of free merchandise. Automotive Diagnostics and Publishing's Mandy Concepcion, the owner of this channel, is one of the most prolific auto technology authors on the web. At any moment in time, we may offer a free book, Kindle eBook, Android app, one of our own diagnostic equipment, or even auto repair software that runs on your PC. Subscribe now free of charge, learn lots of automotive technology secrets, and win free stuff. It doesn't get any better than that. Thanks for watching, and enjoy.